MXC stock, Mexico Energy Corp. Closed the session of the 4th of October 2021 at $16.97, a gain of 46.42%, 6.1 million shares crossed the tape during that session. And the market cap of the stock is $24 million. You can see shares are outstanding is 2.092 million shares and the float is about 1 million shares. So this is a stock that is expected to um, extend and extend them um, very high and also retrace very high as well but at the same time technically the stock based on its underlying trend and uh, indeed everything you're looking at it's it's extending very nicely you know extending extending uh, nicely apart from what has happened today indeed before now it has had spikes you know of late um, it, may, it may have been spiking because of the fact that it has a very small float among sort of things you know but regardless of that but you know, the stock you know is high, it's probably highly regarded technically you know you can see how it's been extending gradually indeed yes there there were spikes and uh, sharp retracements but you know from sometime in in April this year it you know went about it nicely and steadily you know but you know all in all the stock you know it is in a pretty much it's in a strong bullish trend uh, easily without even consulting anything it's in a strong bullish trend what has just happened today is some sort of um, graphically looking graphically you know it, it looks a, a little bit of an anomaly you know um, from what has been going on even though it looks like a, a huge amount of uh, leap but that is also not anything compared to what we have here I think 5.63 to this so this is even bigger you know this is close to 100 percent extension this is just about 40 percent or thereabouts so um it is still within the sort of things that happens with stock after a period of um cycles i think you know so all in all um the stock you know can see here it uh, reached a new 52 week high today it reached a 50, 52 week high of 18 dollars at some point Yes, it reached fifteen dollars at some point. This exceeds the previous high of fourteen point two five dollars by three point seven five, and it is three hundred eighteen point six percent above a fifty-two week low of four point three zero dollars. So yes, you can see everything is uh, very strong on this stock. Yeah, before now, before all of these extensions started occurring, the stock was definitely in a strong bullish trend. You can see that. You can see all that all that played out. This underlying trend didn't form today. You know, today the 4th of uh, October you know, so it, it appears to be in a strong bullish trend this 200 day moving average support sloping in the MACD histogram is above is and rising it is easily out of the S&P 500 okay and uh, momentum is strongly bullish the 14 period flow stochastic oscillator is above 80 the level which many analysts call oversold this means overbought this means that investors have been actively purchasing the shares and driving the price higher volume for the, this session was heavier than usual trading 6.121 million shares versus an average of 1.154,822 shares per day during the last 12 months the unbalanced volume indicators bullish the slope of the indicators is positive and suggest that buyers are presently more active than sellers so six times its float is more than six times its float is what it was what was traded today volatility for the last 10 days has been 134.61 percent you know rsi is strongly bullish at 85.2 you know um do we, do we extend do you do you think before we came on this video we we were actually thinking that the stock if it's going to extend in uh, subsequent sessions maybe not in the next one there's a good chance it can ex it will extend up to twenty dollars and already we didn't know it had actually reached eighteen dollars in the in the, this session so there's every chance it will extend towards that this is because we used um prices from the um 27th of of, uh, of of september this this price of 1091 dollars and uh this low of this low of 9.15 dollars as at the 22nd of september we found a difference there and then we multiplied that difference the difference was 1.76 dollars and we multiplied, we multiplied that by the uh, various Fibonacci extension levels the 200 and, uh, 
260, 261.8% extension level, the 200% extension, 200 extension level, the 161.8% extension level, and so on. And we were able to forecast that there's a good chance if this, it will, it's going to be there. We will continue to, it will still continue to extend, even though, even if it retraces in subsequent sessions because of this rally has run up because of this huge volume that was involved there's a good chance in subsequent sessions it will retrace but we still believe the stock is going to extend and rally it has a small float it will continue to attract market participants we believe it's going to extend up to twenty dollars you know going by the going by modest going by the sort of extension it has uh, run up of late you know using much more recent spikes you know this was a much recent spike not long ago so there's a good chance it will extend up to twenty dollars and slightly even more than that but if would it retrace yes there's every chance it can retrace down to twelve dollars it can it can actually do that as well it can retrace all the way down to twelve dollars it's it's highly likely and if we have to look at what's going on in this uh, post market now it's down 5.72 at 16 dollars you know, so easily this stock is um, can always do that. You know, let's see whether we have any fresh volumes, vol any volume figure. Okay, we have a six point three two three. Okay, so that's where the volumes are right now. So yes, easily um, the stock is has a and it has it has a te technical uh, play out that will continue to ensure that the stock feeds on itself. It will continue to do that. You know. Um, the, the picture is it doesn't have that picture of um, um, of, of uh, currently in any in any time soon. Um, uh, uh, what, how would I put it now? You know, consolidating or moving sideways. It doesn't have that um, in in, it, in its um, in its um, history. You know, even though we know history has really not very much to do with the future, but you know. Going by what we're seeing right now, you know, going by these volumes, it has moved up to a new level now. You know, there's every chance it will just, you know, dip slightly and continue to extend upwards again. So our target in the coming session is about $20, $20 and some fraction. If it's if, if there's going to be any retracement, it's going to be all the way down to $12. So there about, that will be a sharp retracement. Okay, so see what you make of um, MXC stock and uh, keep the stock in your radar. We'll continue to update you. Thank you very much for watching this video.